Paracelsus, a 16th century alchemist, was the first to refer to a gas as hydrogen when metal dissolves in acid. At that time, hydrogen was confused with other combustible gases such as carbon monoxide, but in 1766 Henry Cavendish proved that hydrogen is different from other combustible gases. In 1776, Voltaire discovered that hydrogen makes water when it burns, and a few years later Lavoisier named the gas hydrogen. The hydrogen gas was first made by Paracelsus by mixing metal and strong acid. He did not know that the combustible gas produced by this chemical reaction was a new chemical element. In 1671, Robert Boyle rediscovered and described the reaction between iron powder and dilute acid solutions, the reaction of hydrogen gas. It was Henry Cavendish who first recognized hydrogen gas as an individual substance. He identified gases from the metal acid reaction as flammable air in 1766, and in 1781 he discovered that burning the gases produced water. Henry Cavendish is usually credited as the discoverer of hydrogen. Then, in 1783, Antoine Lavoisier, along with Pierre Simon Laplace, recreated Cavendish's discovery that hydrogen burns and produces water, and named the element hydrogen. Hydrogen was first liquefied in 1898 by James Dewar using a regenerative cooling method and his invention, a vacuum thermos. He also made solid hydrogen the following year. Deuterium was discovered by Harold Glass in December 1931, and tritium was created by Ernest Rutherford, Mark Oliphant, and Paul Hartek in 1934. Heavy water, in which the place of hydrogen in a water molecule was usually replaced by deuterium, was discovered by a group of Harold Glass in 1932. Edward Daniel Clark invented the hydrogen gas intake in 1819. In 1823, the Dubariner lamp and lime ore were invented. The hydrogen-filled balloon was first invented by Jacques Alexander César Charles in 1783. In 1852, Henri Zappar invented a hydrogen-powered flying ship, and hydrogen began to provide a means of airborne transportation. Subsequently, Count Ferdinand von Scheffelen of Germany developed the idea of a light airship that charges hydrogen and floats in the air. The airship was later called the Scheffelen Airship, which first flew in 1900 and became regular in 1910. Until the outbreak of World War I in August 1914, the Chepelin airship carried 35,000 passengers without serious accidents. During the war, hydrogen-powered airships were used as observation decks or bombers. The first non-landing transatlantic crossing took place in 1919 by the British airship R-34. Regular passenger service resumed in the 1920s, and the discovery of helium in the United States ensured greater safety for airships, but the U.S. government refused to sell helium for use in airships. Hydrogen was therefore used in LZ-129 Hindenburg, which was destroyed in a fire on 6 May 1937. The accident was broadcast live on the radio. The leaking hydrogen was believed to have caught fire, but the investigation said the fire was caused by static electricity in aluminum fibers. However, the use of hydrogen in airships ended with the incident. Currently, almost helium is used in the airship. Nickel hydrogen batteries were first used on the U.S. Navy's NTS-2 in 1977, and were also installed on the International Space Station, Mars Odyssey, and Mars Global Surveyor. Hydrogen was lighter than air and was once used as air in balloons, but it is now replaced by helium as the danger is known, but some merchants illegally put hydrogen in balloons because it is cheap, which is still controversial and controversial.